If you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes to what's good to my beautiful people them welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it's your girl miss sis and i'm back with another video oh 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 so today as much as i am not a fan of doing a lipstick swatch video i personally love watching them and i think they're very useful and i definitely had to film this for you guys so as you can see by the title nyx has recently dropped their new shine loud lip glosses so i picked up a few shades if you're new to my channel make sure you do subscribe i would really appreciate it put your post notifications on to all so you never miss out any uploads and follow me on insta it is missy.sis but without further ado let's get right into the video i feel like my hair was irritating me throughout that whole intro right there anyway so if you're based in the uk you can get them from beauty bay so these are the ones that i've picked up and also because i think my order was over a certain amount i got a a free little mini pull filler primer from nyx which i haven't used in ages and i'm actually really happy i've got this now because i haven't used one of these in a long time girl these new shine loud high shine lip colors they're meant to be like the next generations of lip glosses with ultra shine ultra pigment non-sticky base high shine formula high shine high shine and high shine and shine into the fullest so that's what they basically are however these are actually quite unique because i believe it's like a duo type of vibe so you've got the color pigment of the gloss here and then you've got like the shine gloss on this end which looks like a nail brush applicator so they do have about like 25 shades i believe and the majority of them are actually out of stock already on beauty bay's website so boy i have actually worn this makeup previously because i was filming other content so my lipstick is practically gone so i'm just gonna wipe off the rest that's on the lips before we get into the swatching okay so that's my natural lips right there all in its glory yeah so i've got actually two like brownie news two like peachy news and then i've got a berries okay so the first one i've got in my hand is called global citizen global citizen is described as a light beige nude and this is what the applicator looks like so it's like a teardrop applicator that color though <laughs> me like a stick like a okay love the applicator yeah it feels like the nyx butter glosses but with more pigment oh yes that color right there is giving me life i know it looks crazy without the lip liner but this is a beautiful nude so when it's starting to dry now i'm noticing when i'm speaking there is like a tacky consistency when you feel your lips like pucking together it's starting to feel wait what what is this it says the non-sticky high shine formula this is sticky this is very sticky that you see that wow okay okay so the application might not be all on its 1010 because obviously i allowed it to dry then i started pucking my lips so i must have interfered the actual base of it yeah the high shine it is it's very shiny and glossy like you see what i mean that like, wow even me wiping it off the base is not budging mm -mm. oh what lip oh wow that base is not budging <gasps> guys i'm not kidding you that is like serious i've been rubbing my lips for the longest while it actually feels sore that like, you can even see like the outline of the cream there it's it's proper tough and i still got a bit of patchiness and residue from that lipstick right so the next shade i'm gonna try is gold crusher and gold crusher is a true peach oh is it that one that one was um global citizen or something like that and that one is gold crusher okay so that one is gold crusher beautiful shade i'm gonna apply this high shine straight away because i do not want this to dry okay that shade is actually really really nice it doesn't look flattering without a lip liner but it's a gorgeous shade i'm actually really feeling the shade um i like it more than i thought i would like it but it's a very pretty pretty shade these are very stainy i'm i'm starting to get scared you know but these like nah mm -mm. nah mm -mm. i can't take off this um lip glosses easily 
and there's still some on my lips but I can't take it off. So I'm gonna go on to these two. Now these two come up a little bit more pink than I expected. The next one I'm gonna try is Cash Flow. It's described as a pink nude, a light pink nude. Okay, this looks crazy, but I can finesse this. Like, you see what a brown lip liner could do. I'm not gonna lie, I did have to take off the um, gloss and start again. And yeah, that's the shade. So, that's actually a really nice shade. When you use a lip liner, girl, I'm telling you, it changes the game. Like, look how bright that pink shade was compared to like my lips now. It's like two different shades. I actually really like this. I think it just looks cute and fresh and especially if you've got like a nice little pink blush on the cheeks, girl. Mm, yes, she cute. So the next shade that I'm gonna use is Magic Maker. And Magic Maker is described as a light brown toned nude. Um, she looks a little bit pink to me. Mm, yeah, she definitely, Am I reading this right? That is match maker, not match maker, sorry, magic maker. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, she's a bit of me. Yeah, she is cute. She is definitely, definitely cute. I haven't even used the gloss shine. I think I'm gonna have to finish this one as well. So that one is Magic Maker and she is stunning. Mm -mm. Mm. I think it's the packaging that's a little bit more vibrant than what it is like inside. But this type of shade, oh girl, like with a brown lip liner and look at that shine. Nah, don't upset me. This is gorge. Oh, mm. and the shine as well. The shine. It's the shine. It is the shine. Now I'm down to my last one and she's called Goal Getter. Okay? Goal. As in football. Goal Getter. When you're Caribbean, sometimes the word don't come out proper, proper. You understand? Berry red, she is. And I love me a berry red sometimes. <gasps> no, look at the applicator. Look at this. Look at this. Sure. And Vex BC, like, look at it, man. Cha. Uh. Okay, she's cute, but you know what? This is a shade that, funny enough, I can't wear without a lip liner. And usually with like dark berry shades or red berry shades, glosses or lipsticks, I don't really tend to wear lip liners. But this is giving me a vibe that I'm gonna have to wear a lip liner. Which is strange because I don't know what lip liner to use. She is ready for the spring summer. So I'm gonna go in a different colour to end the video. And I think I'm gonna go in with the first original shade that I used. And this one was called um, Gold Crusher. Yeah, no, sorry, Global Citizen. This is my combo that I've got going on. And if you're curious, by the way, I used the MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. Um, which is like my favourite brown lip liner. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, yeah. This was probably the most discombobulated lipstick swatch video I've ever done in my life. I mean, I thought me getting attacked by the lip glosses in the Revolution line, the Shimmer Bomb glosses, was like a little bit crazy. But this, I struggled. It was not as straightforward as what a lipstick swatch video should be like. Now, I'm gonna be honest, um, in terms of the shades that I personally do have, I do like all of the shades. I would say my least favorite is the berry one because I just thought it was gonna be like, more berry and darker this is the second least favorite i would say which is cash flow the pinky nude and then it's these three like these three are beautiful so i thought i wasn't gonna really like this duo sort of vibe but i actually do i think it's very unique i haven't seen anything like this in the market in my eyes should i say and i do love the formula of the glosses when i say you will get that proper lip shine you will get that proper lip shine girl i mean shining then shine 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 only thing i struggled with this lipstick or these lip glosses that the base is so tough to remove my lips are sore and i've never come across a lip cream a lip paint a lip gloss to be so difficult to remove to the point that my lips are sore hi guys so i'm pretty much just editing please don't watch the way i look girl 
is that time of night. So I'm pretty much editing the video that you guys are watching right here, but obviously you guys are watching it. However, I thought it was very important for me just to insert my little two cents after testing out these products. So I tested out these products a few days ago, and since then I've been complaining to my friend saying that my lips are feeling very dry and I've also have a burnt mark. And I was very confused by that because I was thinking to myself, what did I do to cause my lips to be so dry i have a burnt mark on it and she actually brought it to my attention to ask me the question if i've tried any new makeup lip products that may have caused a reaction so i don't know if i had a reaction to the lip products or if this dryness and this burnt mark was cause of me rubbing my lips so hard to take the makeup products off because i don't really tend to have any sort of reaction um to anything on my face or to things in general but i'm telling this for free when i say i've been using oils vaseline i have gone as far as using castor oil even my eczema cream around my mouth area to just keep some sort of moisture and yeah my my lips are just feeling very dry whenever i speak it gets that white cast and my skin feels stretch and obviously feels irritated with the burnt mark so I just thought let me just add that in hopefully this doesn't happen to like anyone else but that's what i've experienced ever since so yeah anyway let's get back to the video i think i may have to use these on top of like a lipstick something just to have more of a barrier and a base so i don't really have too much qualms to remove them um because they're pigmented they're flawless they glide really nicely but once they start drying you're in trouble you're literally having beef because this ain't no job 11 pounds is a little bit pricey i guess it's gonna be in that price region when it comes to nyx but i do like the duo vibe like it's cute it's unique but yeah guys that's pretty much the end of the video you guys let me know what you think if you do have these lip products um and you feel like there's a shade that you guys want to recommend to me especially when it comes to nudes or browns just leave a little comment down below i'm very intrigued you guys know i love your lot of suggestions but i just want to say thank you so much once again for watching make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up details will be in the description box below as per and i would love to see you guys in my next video bye and boom they're on the tune like big up my sisters